guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of November reading for you all. November 1st through the 15th reading for Aries. How are you all today? I am doing fantastic. I hope you guys are too. I've already meditated on the cards, you all, before I start the video. Just so you all know. It does take me a minute to get all the cards ready, so please be patient with me. Try to hurry. I'll give you two here. All right, let's see what we got. The chariot card. The high priestess. King of Pentacles, the Strength, Five of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. You're clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, the Sun card. Woohoo! And the star. Nice. Nice, nice. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Ain't that the truth, though? Just stay positive if you're looking for a love, you all. Guardian of Abundance. This is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. You guys might be getting an unexpected job opportunity. That would be great, right? If you're looking for one, that is. Maybe it's just a promotion or something exciting like that. Because these are really good cards for you all. Give me just a minute, okay? Let me just look at these. I have really good feelings about these cards. You know, <clears throat> I feel like for a lot of you, if you're looking for a new job, a promotion, a new opportunity somehow with a career or a business, you might just be getting it. Especially with this guardian of abundance over here. You've got the chariot, you've got the strength, you've got the sun, you've got the star, you've got the seven of pentacles. These really make me feel like um, if you've been looking for a job, and some of you guys might not even be looking for one, you might just have the opportunity at a split, a split second to get some kind of a promotion and you're not even aware of it right at this moment. Which would be fantastic, right? Or have an opportunity to do something on your own or even switch careers. Maybe even build something up from bottom up from, from home while you're working. I have a good feeling though. I mean, you guys are hard workers and there's nothing that will stop you if you set your mind to it. and You stay um, positive, optimistic, stay grounded, move forward. Because all of these cards tell me that. Give me just a minute. There's only one, and it's not even negative, negative card, this Five of Pentacles. It's not even like a really bad negative card. It kind of makes me feel like 
you're sad about something. And sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it's financial, but sometimes, you know, when, not sometimes, I mean, let's just face it, if you're financially sad or strapped, you're going to be emotional about it. If you can't pay your bills, it becomes emotional. But for some of you guys, I mean a handful, it might be that. It might be the financial, um, your bills are coming in and you don't know how you're going to pay them kind of situation. But for some of you, I almost feel like it's more of a, you're thinking about your past, possibly. You're thinking about, I wished it was like that 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 5 years ago. What happened since then kind of situation? For some of you, you might be getting a divorce. I don't mean to be negative about that, but it's, it's, it's how I'm feeling today, so I'm going to throw it out there. But if you are, with this chariot and with all these other beautiful cards, and especially this strength, you're determined and you're strong and you're healthy and you're feeling good. I mean, you might have this moment but overall, these are beautiful cards that you're going to snap out of it. You're not going to be like this very long. It's just going to be a split second, an hour or two, or half of a day, and you're going to be like, okay, snap out of it. I'm in much better shape than I'm, you know, sitting here moping about. Maybe you're missing people from your past, too. Missing situations, missing jobs, missing other opportunities that you should have taken could have, would have, should have kind of things. But I'm not going to continue with that card because I really don't think that it's that big of a deal, especially compared to the rest of these cards. When I get this Seven of Pentacles, you're harvesting your fruit, so money might be coming in for some of you, which makes me feel like you're, you're getting better and better and better at certain things. So maybe that is your business, your home opportunity that you're thinking about. Maybe that is that promotion that might be popping up for you all. With this chariot, you're moving forward. You're strong. You're determined. You're independent. You can own your own business if you wanted to with this card. And it can also tell me that you're moving forward possibly in your romantic life as well. In your life in general, possibly. But if you do want to open a business, this might be the right time. If you realize that it's going to be a lot of hard work, you need to focus and stay determined and stay strong. You could do it. These cards tell me so, you all. When I get this High Priestess, you know, it stands for intuition. It stands for going within and finding your, um, maybe your spiritual side. Maybe it's time for some of you guys, meditate and pray. And believe in yourself because your intuition is going to start getting stronger. Your gut's going to start telling you more and more things to do and not to do. And I would suggest to go with your gut, you all. I always go with my gut. It's just one of those things. Once you start going with your gut and you start realizing that your gut is not steering you wrong, you're going to feel more powerful. I mean, it really does make you feel like that because you're like, okay, I'm doing the right things now. I'm going the right direction. I'm moving forward in the right path. The path that's going to make me happy for a change. When I get this King of Pentacles, Pentacles are earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, he or she could stand for someone that's coming into your life that might be helping you. It might be a romantic partner. Maybe that's where these are coming in. But it could also be a family member. It could be a father-mother figure. It could be a, a business owner or a boss of yours or someone you work with. It could be a lot of different people. He's very well respected. He's very down to earth. He's usually busted his butt to get to where he is today. But he could own a business or be a president. He could be an attorney. He could be a father figure, like I said. You could be dating him, him or her. But I have a feeling that an earth sign might be important in some, of your, um, in some of your lives the first half of November. And if they're not an earth sign, they might have these qualities, this kindness and sweetness and um, intelligence. But I do believe he, he or she is a good influence for most of you all. I don't think they're a bad influence.
have a good feeling about them. When I get this Eight of Wands right here, you know, this is a, a message might be coming in to, to you guys, which could be this new promotion possibly or this new career opportunity that I'm talking about with this Guardian of Abundance. Maybe this message is going to come in just like that. You're going to go, what? You know, Mary was right. I had no idea. So this kind of gets me excited. Now, for some of you, you could be communicating long distance. You could be dealing, you could be dating online possibly, but you could also be having some kind of a business opportunity that you're dealing with online back and forth. You could be talking to family members across the seas or in another country, in another state. You could just be um, dealing with people online somehow, some way. Long distance, possibly. But for some of you, you're going to get a, a message coming in, fast communication, and it's going to be an awesome message, and it's going to make you happy as happy can be. Don't forget the star card, you all. The star card, for heaven's sakes. Look how beautiful that is. So when I get the star card, I have to say this. Some people get mad at me when I say it, but I have to say it anyway. On one hand, it's one of those cards that makes me feel like you're going to, you know, the universe might be guiding you in the right direction. Maybe that's where the high priestess is coming into. Something is guiding you in the right direction, and you're starting to become yourself again somehow, some way. You know when you live with someone for such a long period of time and you start becoming like them? You might cuss too much. You might not like your attitude. And all of a sudden when you get away from that person, you're like, who am I? Where have I been? And you start becoming yourself again. You start healing yourself on the inside and the outside and making yourself feel good about yourself. Giving yourself more self-respect, more confidence, more self-esteem. And you're loving yourself more and more and more. So if there is anything that you don't like about yourself, whatever it may be, work on it. Get your confidence back. Get your self-respect back. Your self-esteem back. Love yourself again. I kind of feel like that you're going to with this high priestess. You're going to realize who you are and who you want to be again for some, for some of you. And you're going to heal yourself and be yourself again. And it's going to be fantastic. It's going to give you a really good feeling about yourself. On the flip side of the star card, your wishes may be coming true, you all. Your hopes, your dreams, your prayers, your wishes. The things that you've been wanting in life could be that new business opportunity. But overall, with the sun, it's happiness. It's the happiest, happiest card but it also means successful and joyful, happy. Give me a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Okay, just like I said with this Five of Pentacles, I don't think it's going to be but a few hours, maybe for some of you, a half a day. But you're going to start thinking, maybe you are financially strapped and this can make you emotional and make you just sad. But on the other hand, maybe you're thinking about things from the past that are making you... Maybe you're thinking, I was in better shape five years ago, ten years ago, twenty years ago, you know, that kind of thing. Or whatever happened to so-and-so, or your divorce papers came in and you're sad about it. So it's one of those cards that you're just kind of emotional. But it's not going to last long. I really don't think, anyway. Because when I get this Seven of Pentacles, you know, you're harvesting your fruit, so money might be coming in. Extra money might be coming in for some of you. But on the flip side, you're also gaining your abilities and your knowledge, and you're getting better and better and better at something in particular. And then when I get this High Priestess here, I feel like if you'll open yourself up, if you'll realize that your intuition is spot on 
It will make you feel like you're more powerful because your your decisions are the right ones to go with. Your gut is steering you in the right direction. Just go with your gut. That's what I tell everybody and that's what I do. When I get this strength card, I feel like you're determined, you're strong, you're going to have faith, you're going to trust, you're going to believe in yourself, and you should. I really do believe that something great is going to happen for you all, if you apply yourself, that is. When I get this King of Pentacles, Pentacles are Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be male or female. Now, this person could be someone in your life, whether it be a romantic partner, a mother-father figure, an employer, a business owner, an attorney. could be just someone that might be um, coming into your life the beginning of November to help you with this new business opportunity, maybe. But I believe that this person's a good person, whether it be male or female. Really intelligent, sweet, and kind, and, and down-to-earth. So I believe that this person has good intentions for you, whoever it may be in your situation. Now it could be you and your energy today, or it could be another person that you're dealing with with this energy. But I like it. I really do. Then I have this Eight of Wands. Now this could be a quick, fast message coming in for some of you. This could be a message that's coming in so fast that you're going to be like, What? And it's going to be a nice, um, a nice message that you're going to be shocked about. But for some of you, you might be dating online. You might be dealing with people online. You might be having business transactions online. It could be long distance, overseas possibly. You might be talking to your family. Because with this chariot right here, this tells me in, in, in itself that you could be a business owner if you wanted to be. You could, um, you're independent, you're determined, you're going to move forward no matter what. You're going to focus on the right path, and that's the path you're going to stay on. That's the way I feel about this card, which really gives me something about this one. Time of great success for you. Then when I get the star, if there's anything you don't like about yourself, please work on yourself and heal yourself, okay? Become yourself again. But on the flip side, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your prayers are coming true. The things that you've been wanting in life, which is fantastic, right? It might be um, the universe might be guiding you this way. The universe might be leading you in the right direction, if you'll allow it, that is. And then I get the happiness card, the sun card. Some of you might be going on a vacation where it's nice and warm. Some of you guys are realizing that you want to open your own business or do something on the side. Some of you guys are getting that new promotion. Some of you guys are getting into a new relationship, possibly. Because I have this express your love and stay optimistic. If you'll stay optimistic, be yourself, be happy, people will be drawn to you and be attracted to you. And if you do find somebody that you like, you might want to let them know. They might not know that you like them. They might feel the same way about you, but they have no idea you like them. Guardian of Abundance. This is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. If you guys are wanting to do something on your own, and you realize that it's going to take hard work to make it work, I say do it. Now, you're going to have to put all your focus and strength and determination into it, but I say do it. It might be the right time for you. Now, that's just my opinion, you all. All right, Aries, this is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. This is your first half of November reading, November 1st to the 15th reading for Aries. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.